Hello Boba Fett fans, I'm Chelsea B. Coombs. I'm a contributor with Boba Fett Fan Club, and as you can see behind me, there is a giant box with the Mandalorian on it. I just got this in the mail, um, care of Hasbro. Thank you so much, Hasbro, for sending this to Boba Fett Fan Club. It's all a tie-in to Mandomania, and if you don't know what that is, Basically every Tuesday as season three of The Mandalorian goes on, there is going to be a new product reveal, whether it's toys, um, t-shirts, merch, anything under the sun that's Mandalorian related, you'll be able to find out about it on Tuesdays. And last week was really great because Hasbro actually revealed two new kind of Book of Boba Fett related items, the Tusken Chieftain for the Black Series, as well as the Tusken Warrior for the Vintage Collection. So I'm really excited to see what's inside this Mando Mania PR box. Um, get excited. I hope you're just as excited as I am to find out what's inside. Alrighty, so opening this big box up, the first thing that kind of sticks out to me is this Wild Ride and Grogu, which is kind of this fun animatronic figure that makes sounds um, and also moves a little bit. Um, I think it's a follow-up to that really amazingly named Galactic Snack and Grogu, but it's really cool. I mean, you can see his like head kind of moves a little bit and he's got his wonderful little carrier here. It's so cute. I think kids will really, really like this. And then we've also got the entirety of wave five of this bounty collection. So these are really cute figures. They're about like two inch scale, I believe. There's Grogu with a loath cat, which, oh my God, that's ridiculously adorable. Um, but there's also kind of one, He's here he is with a dark trooper helmet. You know, Luke must have taken that helmet off um, and you know, we, we, we let Grogu play with it. Who wouldn't? Um, there's also the dark saber, a Beskar ingot, his little ball, and then just Grogu being adorable. I think these are so cute and they're really awesome. I think for kids who are just getting into collecting or anyone who loves Grogu, which is probably everyone, right? So moving these little guys. Um, there's also here, speaking of Grogu, this fun lightsaber here. This is from their lightsaber squad line. It's got Grogu on it, and this is really great for little kids to play with. If you remember, like, back when you were a kid, they ha always had these kind of lightsabers that the blade came up like this and, you know, comes back down very easily like this. Those were always so much fun to play with as a kid, and apparently there are also versions of this particular lightsaber squad line with Boba Fett, um, the Mandalorian, and Ahsoka as well, so... This is a really cool little addition there. And that is not the only lightsaber we got. So I'll move this dark trooper aside for a second. So Hasbro has another line that's um, kind of like more premium lightsabers that have electronics and they just look very, very cool. And as you can see, like on the back, there's so many different, um, you know, hilts and lightsaber blade colors and you can customize them which is really awesome. I know there's a really cool Darth Maul one. Um, this one is the Obi-Wan Kenobi version. Uh, love this for me. Um, I love the Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also a great Black Series figure if you can get your hands on it. Um, it's a little difficult because it's been out for a while but check check on all sorts of sites you can find it they also have a version of the dark saber and i didn't even know that they had a version of the dark saber here as you can see we've got moff gideon um bo katan who's already had a pretty big role in this season of the mandalorian and mando himself and again you can customize it you know take the blade You've got like the cover, all this really cool stuff with the hilt and you can change them around. So again, really cool line here. Um, let's see. There are also these really fun electronic masks in here. So there's the Boba Fett 
Book of Boba Fett version, which obviously is Boba Fett fan club. We are very excited about. It's really cool. They've got these, um, they're like also electronic and they make different sounds based upon um, what the characters say. There's a little button here on both of them. This one is obviously the Mando version and the Boba Fett version. The Boba Fett version, very cool. It has like the range finder and the range finder actually comes down or goes back up. And it also, I love the attention to detail on this one because you see it's got the little dent there. So I'm glad that it has that. I'll play a few of the little sounds. Lower your shields. Mandalore, the Empire turned that planet to glass. Lower your shields. That's amazing. Uh, that is very obviously Tem's voice. So, you know, I love that. And here is the other version right here. I'm a Mandalorian. This is the way. I like those odds. That is true. I do like these odds. And it is also the way. So <laughs> after going through that, um, our last kind of more geared toward kids figure that's here is the Galactic Action Mandalorian and Grogu. And this one also has electronics. So lots of really cool electronic stuff here. Um, basically, you've got this really cute little Grogu who can come out of there. It's got Mando's jetpack that you can take off. Um, it also has this cool blaster that you can put in there, but it makes sounds. So there's Grogu. You love the Grogu. love to hear it. Wherever I go, he goes. This is very cute. I mean, like, what kid wouldn't want to have this in their collection? It's very cool. And the fact that you can, like, take Grogu out and his head kind of moves. You know, he's got that little point of articulation there. This is a really fun toy. So, taking that out of here. So, here's where we get into more the adult kind of toy section. I mean, they're obviously for kids also, but, like, Black Series and Vintage Collection, I personally collect them as well as a lot of other adults. So I'll, I'll kind of tailor the rest of this for the adult collectors out there. So this one is really dope. Um, this is one of my favorite Black Series figures that's come out recently. This is the Dark Trooper. Um, Black Series is their six inch line. Um, the way that the paint application is on this, you can see it's so shiny. It's really beautiful. I mean, like this is a deluxe figure and, you know, I really think it fits with the higher price. You also have these awesome extra hands that are little fists here, which I love. I mean, a lot of action figures um, from other sorts of toy companies, they do have those extra hands and you can really pose them very well. I love that. I love the fact that they brought that into the Black Series with this really cool figure. And again, if you get a bunch of them and stand them up together, it looks really awesome on your display. So totally recommend getting this figure. Um, another Black Series figure we got is the Mandalorian. So there are a lot of different repaints of this particular figure. I love this one. It's really nice. This is the very shiny best car version. There's also, um, I think the one of the first versions was his old armor back in season one before he went to the armor to get all this new shiny stuff. Um, it obviously comes with his blaster, his rifle, as well as his... Um, jetpack there so a really cool figure this one is not the one that you can take the helmet off and see um pedro pascal's face but there is also another one that comes with grogu and um the hover stroller as well so again if you're looking for mandalorian black series you have a lot of different options and they're all really cool i i love them like the credit collection has some really great kind of repaints there that match the end credits art so highly recommend those moving on so this is the vintage collection stuff we got so this is the 3.75 inch scale 
I am so excited about this. I have wanted this really awesome Navarro Cantina. You know, you remember this scene from the very first season. Um, I love the, you know, these play sets that Hasbro's Star Wars line comes up with because they have all these really cool details. You've got all these little bottles and this bar with the different seats and everything. Um, and it comes with the Death Trooper from Navarro. So you actually get a little figure in there as well, which is very cool. Obviously, these figures do not come with it, but highly recommend you get them anyway, because they're also very cool. So that is a cool vintage collection play set. Again, highly recommend the vintage collection play sets. I'm really looking forward to the um, Boba Fett throne room TVC set that's supposed to come out sometime this year. That'll be exciting. All right. So like, here we have the vintage collection Paz Vizsla. I'm very excited about this. I have the black series version, but I haven't gotten this particular version yet. Um, obviously you have here the plastic free packaging, which I personally like. I know there's like a little bit of, um, you know, community differences in that, but I actually really like how it looks. Um, and I'm glad for like the environmental impact. Um, but this one, it comes with some different like flame effects here. Obviously he's got his, um, weapon. Uh, you've got his right here is his little tiny shield, which I really love that like force field shield. Very cool figure. I'm excited to take a look at that. And then the very big items that I am like thrilled to have gotten. This um, is the Black Series Bo-Katan helmet. It's kind of hard to see from right here and I'll take it out in a little bit and show you. Their helmets are great. Um, I have the Boba Fett re-armored version as well as the Mandalorian helmet and they're really fun to put on and play with and they all have different kind of like electronic features that are there. Um, I'll show you guys all the good stuff here when I unbox this little guy, but I'm very excited to have this. I was planning on getting it, just never got a chance to do so. Um, so I'm, I can't wait to try it on. You know, it's my first female character helmet, so very excited about that. And I mean, I finally can like wield the dark saber. Like this is the force effects elite dark saber. Let me see if I can kind of turn it around. This is a little bit of a struggle here. We'll try it out, but there we go. I cannot wait to open this. Um, I have not gotten any of the Force FX lightsabers or obviously like the dark saber yet, but these also have awesome electronic sounds that they make and they light up. And these are really great for role play or if you're looking for costumes, that kind of thing. I'm very excited to open this up and I will show you that in a little bit as well. So yeah, that was all of the things that came in the box. Now I'll show you a few of the um, items out of their packaging and show you some of their features. All right, so now let's take a look at the Bogotan Black Series Premium Roleplay Electronic Helmet. This is a, another very cool helmet. Again, like I said previously, I have two of the other Black Series helmets, Boba Fett Rearmored, as well as the Mandalorians. I was very excited to get this in the Mando Mania box. Um, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and a AAA battery to take advantage of the very cool electronic component here. And let me show you. All you have to do is press this button. Oop, if I can get it to work. Boom. And the rangefinder comes on and you see the lights uh, flashing there. It is very cool. You can also do this and you see that awesome light right there. This is a very cool helmet. I mean, there's so much detail here with it as well. You can bring it back up like that, but you can see all, you've got like the Night Owl logo here. You've got all this like battle damage here. It's such a vibrant like blue. Obviously there's kind of two different colors of blue here, but what a really cool 
you know, helmet, not just to display, like obviously this is gonna look really cool on your shelf, but if you are a cosplayer who's really into cosplaying as Bogotan, this is gonna make your outfit, you know, look really next level. So this is a very cool helmet. And again, highly recommend this one as well. Any of the Black Series, like premium role play stuff, from my experience, it has been really high quality and, you know, they don't really cut corners on this kind of stuff. You can see here on the inside, it even has, you know, instruments and everything on the inside that if you want, you could paint some of this to give it a little bit more detail, but it looks really cool. Highly, highly recommend this one as well. Even has heft. Like, if you are cosplaying as the Mandalorian, you will not have to fake this being heavy because it is heavy. Like, you will have a similar, you know, experience to Din when he's trying to wield the Darksaber. The lights are really cool. Obviously here the hilt lights up, but I've got to show you what happens when you press this on. That is so cool. I love how the light really goes from the base of the hilt all the way to the top, just like the Darksaber does. And if you play around with it, if you like, move it around it makes sounds just like it would in real life um another really cool thing is if you press down on this button that's the sound that the dark saber makes when it is cutting through a door it's so cool i love that you can do that and then let me show you um this is how you turn it off and what it looks like Oop you hold down that other button for a few seconds and it literally looks and sounds just like the Darksaber. Like, I am so blown away by this. Like, there are very few things that can actually make me this excited. This Darksaber is one of them. Like, I am absolutely going to get some of the other lightsabers. Like, they've got a Darth Revan one. Very cool, in my opinion. Um, it also comes with this cool stand. So if you're not using it at the time, you can stand it up like this and I think you're supposed to take the actual blade off of it so it actually like works a little bit better but you can have the blade there you can take the blade off you can keep it on and it just is a great way to actually display the darksaber when you're not doing cosplay I love this this is so cool um I would highly recommend getting this because you will relive your childhood if you do this. So highly recommend this. So that was quite the bounty that we got. Thank you so much to Hasbro for sending this awesome Mando Mania box and letting us unbox all of this together. It's a really fun time to be a Star Wars fan and a Star Wars collector. So I'm so glad we got the opportunity to open all this stuff up and you know, get a little bit of a closer look at the Bo-Katan helmet as well as the Darksaber, which again, very cool. Highly recommend you get that Darksaber or the helmet. Um, I didn't have time to review everything today, so if there's something up here that you're really interested in and you'd love for us to go a little bit deeper into, make sure you comment on this video and Boba Fett Fan Club will be happy to do so. Thank you again to Hasbro for sending this. Make sure you follow Boba Fett Fan Club everywhere we are on social and keep an eye out for all of our reviews of Mando Season 3. They're on BobaFettFanClub.com. Just head to BobaFett.com and you'll be able to find us. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a really great rest of your day. Bye!